Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to use Visual Studio 2022 to create a window form application by using .NET Framework. Okay, so now, let's get started. Let me open Visual Studio 2022 on my window PC. On this step, you take a look into the right hand side. We have four options. Let's go ahead and click on the option number four. Create a new project. On this step, you can select the templates for create a new project in Visual Studio. On the top, I have some the parameter to do filter. We have the own languages. I will select, I will select the option in C sharp. Platform, it will be the window. On project time, I will select the desktop. And then I take a look into the filter result thing here. We have the window form application, .NET framework. We have the third option in window form application. This one is similar to the window form application. Uh, there is only some difference in the second option here will be using the .NET framework and the third option will be using the .NET core. Okay. So in this video, I will select the option two and then click on next button. On this step, we do the configure for new project. We can enter the project name. I will name it the my first window form application. Yeah, you can change the location for this project. In this video, I will keep it by default. You can also change the solution name. Yeah or even keep it by default. Click on Play Solution and Project in the same directory. Yeah, okay. You can also select another framework. The current latest version for framework .NET is 4.8. I will go ahead to select the latest version and then click on Create button. It will take some time to create a project for me from the templates. Yeah. And you see here, this is the default templates of the window application by using the .NET framework. In the left hand side, you can see we have a toolbox. The toolbox, it will contain some of the control. They are the button checkbox, checklist box, and other control here. We have some of the common control the container, menu, toolbar, yeah, and a lot of things here. We will explore this controller later on, yeah. And we also have the data shop. This data shop will help me to do some of the connection with the database, yeah. We can do some connection with the SQL server. On the right hand side, we have the Solution Explorer. This is the content key for the short code structure. The first one is the solution, and inside the solution we have the project name. And inside project name we have some other folder, another configure for the properties, references, application dot config file, the window form. Yeah, for the form one dot cs file. Yeah, it contains a designer code. By default, we have only blank form here. So we can click on start button to see. It will execute to view the project and then it will start to display the form of window. Yeah, a form here. So now I will try to enter some control on this form for testing. I will open the option in own window form in the toolbox. 
I will have a type up. Okay, hang on. Type up. The type up number two. Type up three. And I want to have a button. The button here on the top. And I want to have another button. Okay. I can select it on and then change the width for some tech pop here. You click on the tech pop and you can go to the properties window in the right hand side or even you can select the, the tech pop, right click on it and then select the properties option. It will display the property you scroll it down to see some of the configuration by default for this tech box. Scroll it down and we have a name here, tech box 1. The same thing for tech box 2 and tech box 3. Yeah. I can go ahead to change this name. For example, on this form, when the user enters the values into the first and second tech box, year number and if they click on the calculate button show i will display the total of two number into the first take box here okay so i will update the id it will be the d d80 uh number one d80 number two and the first one will be the ET result. For the button, I will be the end calculate. I can change the default text box name here. Go it to the top. I have the text. I will change this text. It will be the calculate and the year. And the second option, it will be a clear or reset. I will have the PMT reset button. Okay. And I will have a label. The label here. I will have number one. No, no, sorry. Thank you. Number one, number two, and the last one will be the result or total. So, yeah, for the total, you can do some the Format here, the phone size, the name, the bow, yeah, it's true. Okay. And I make this for me small. Mm. Set it up. Okay. And then, yeah, I click on calculate, double click on this button. And then it will trigger to create a method on click for me. Yeah. Save it up. And here I will declare two variables. Where number one, number one, it will be the uh, convert to integer. Yeah. Three, two. And I will get the value of the, uh, from the text box. The, the, the number one dot type yeah and then when we get the value from the type up I will convert it into the integer we can do some the uh, validation form here to make sure the user e enter the number the value into the type up e number in this of other value like the string or some special character. But in this video, I don't forget to do some the validate 
for the form. I can do it later on in other video. Okay. And for the number two, it should be the same. Convert to integer. I will have a check number. Number two dot text. Yeah. And for the result, I will have the, uh, I will have a number, re no, 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 I will have a result total. It will be the number one minus number two and then we convert it to string yeah and now no need to convert it you can convert it for now and then we can we have the the it result dot type equal total dot string equal total yeah dot string Here are dot to string. It would be the same. Okay. So, and then you click on start button. You see here, I have a form has been displaying the number one, number two, and the total. I will try to enter some value here. One, two, yeah. And then after we click on calculate button, the value would be three. To, okay, reset. So when I click on the reset button, it will help me to clear own value in three text box here. Let me back to the form and then select the reset button and double click or even you can select the button and click on the event. Yeah. We have some event in click, now capture chain, now click. Yeah. So click on double click on click option here. Yeah. So I will have the I will reset everything here yeah. equal string dot empty copy string two string three yeah no 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 take result. Yeah, okay. And I will select the form here. By default, after we open the form, I want the form will be displayed in the central of my screen. So I will have a option here, start position. I will select the option here, center screen. Yeah. And I can also update the title for this form the name the text yeah so i will have uh, the can the form yeah and then run it again okay you see after i run this form you can see the can later form e displaying in the center of my screen okay so now try to enter some value into this form. Three, six, and the total, it should be nine. Okay. And click on the reset button. It will clear everything. Four, six, eleven. Okay, cool. Reset, close. Yeah. And you can click on the total. Take box and because this take box, I don't want to allow the user to edit any value here. So I can set it to the read only option. By default, it will be phone. And now I will select it to. Okay. So when I select this read only option E2, it will change the color from the white into a gray. Run it again. Yeah. Four, uh, three, four, 
and this will be 7. So here I cannot delete the value of the textbox total. Reset. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all for today. After if you need this video, you know how to create a window farm application by using the .NET framework. The current version of .NET framework is 4.8 and the tool I'm using is uh, Visual Studio 2022. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. You can buy on this video training to apply it for your project. Okay, and let me know if you have any issue. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.